Yohoya Bello's brazen disregard for the law, a threat to democracy. Yohoya Bello's continued standoff against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, in Nigeria is a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the erosion of democratic values. His blatant refusal to cooperate with the anti-corruption agency's investigation into his financial dealings is a slap in the face of the rule of law and a mockery of the very principles that govern our society. By openly defying the EFCC summons and using his clout and connection to intimidate and harass the agency's officials, Bello has demonstrated a brazen disregard for the law and a callous disregard for common sense. His actions are a stark reminder of the culture of impunity that has long plagued our country, where those in power believe they are above the law and can act with reckless abandon. But Bello's antics go beyond mere arrogance, they pose a significant threat to our democracy. Although EFCC has had its own fair share of shortcomings, we still hold that by challenging the authority of the agency undermining its ability to investigate and prosecute corruption, Bello is undermining the very foundations of our democratic system. His actions are a clear attempt to intimidate and silence those who dare to hold him accountable and to maintain his grip on power at all costs. It is imperative that we stand firm against Bello's anti-democratic antics and demand that he cooperates fully with the EFCC's investigation. We must also demand that our lawmakers and law enforcement agencies take concrete steps to hold him accountable for his actions and ensure that the rule of law is upheld. Bellows' actions are a stark reminder that we must remain vigilant and continue to demand better from those who hold power. Yehoya Bellows' standoff against the EFCC is a dangerous affront to our democracy and a clear attempt to undermine the rule of law. He must account for the humongous wealth frittered away under his stewardship as governor of Kogi State. We must stand firm against his anti-democratic antics and demand that he cooperates fully with the investigation. The future of our democracy depends on it.